What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing you another video. In today's video we got a special boss fight that was a headache the first few times fighting it, but from the live stream with you guys and a little bit of help from Malice NX, we were able to figure out a good strategy that completely shreds this boss. Once you understand certain preset mechanics about this boss, it becomes so easy to just breeze through this fight. This was one of my most hated boss fights at first, but it quickly became one of my favorites after we learned a few things about it. Also, Tifa gets to shine really bright in this boss fight, so that really makes me happy. Shoutouts to you guys that are members in the chat. Throw up your bricks right now and show off your emojis. If you have not yet, be sure to join the membership today and you will get access to our exclusive emojis. There are also many perks as well, such as video shoutouts and having amazing loyalty badge materials next to your name. So join any tier and become a member today. Be sure to check out Malice NX's YouTube channel if you have not yet. He makes really amazing Final Fantasy VII Remake boss guides. There's a link in the description below. Now with with all that being said, let's get into the video. For Cloud, we're going to be rocking the Mithril Saber to deal big magic damage in this fight. We also have the Chain Bangle on for more defense and 4 Materia slots. And finally, the Fury Ring to deal the max damage possible and just destroy this boss. We have Healing Materia on just in case we need it. You never know, you can't be too safe on hard mode. We also have Refocus Materia for more stat increases and overall damage boosts. We have an MP up as well so that we can cast magic attacks freely. Remember, this is the end of the chapter, so go ham with magic attacks because you will refill on the next section. Another refocus materia for bonus damage and overall stat increases again. And first strike materia is super important so we can start off the fight with a magic cast. HP up to have more HP and live longer. We also have Ice Materia because that is Eligor's weakness. We will be dealing massive damage with this as well as a lot of Stagger Bar increases. Time Materia for the ending where Stop comes in super handy and ends the fight very quickly. ATB Stagger is a must have for this fight because you will be staggering almost 3 times and we want to have as much ATB to deal the max amount of damage. And an ATB boost in case we are running low on ATB. And finally we have the Bahamut Summon Materia for more magic attack bonuses as well as physical sad attacks. When it comes to Tifa, we have on the Metal Knuckles to deal the max amount of damage, the Force Bracelet for more Materia slots, and the Fury Ring for even further damage increases. She is going to bring on the pain in this build, trust me. When it comes to her Materia, we're going full on physical damage so refocus to increase all stats will go a long way. We also have two luck ups on her to crit more and deal higher crit damage. HP up to have more HP, and ATB Stagger is super important as I said it will keep your ATB bar full in this fight with it. Parry Materia just in case we need to avoid and evade enemy attacks because there are a lot of weird aerial attacks in this fight. Revival Materia is a just in case spell, you never know anything can go wrong when doing these fights, it's always best to be safe than sorry. ATB Assist is the way to go with Tifa since she will be feeding Cloud and Aerith ATB during this fight. And we have HP Absorb paired with Deadly Dodge, this way we can heal on Deadly Dodges if needed. And finally she is rocking the Ifrit Summon Materia for more strength increases as well as physical defense increases too. On Aerith we want to deal the max amount of damage possible so we're going with the damage heavy setup of Mithril Rod. Force Bracelet for more Materia slots and Fury Ring to deal the max amount of damage. When it comes to her Materia we have healing on just in case if anything goes wrong. Wind Materia is good for when Eligor goes in the air, it can actually bring him down. But we may not need to use this because we have a strategy set up with Tifa. We also have two magic ups to deal the max amount of damage possible with Aerith as we want to full on pressure him whenever we can. First strike on Aerith is needed due to the way that her and Cloud both need to start off the fight. HP up for more health and we have Ice Materia because that is what Eligor's weakness is and Aerith will really put the hurting on him. Prayer Materia is a great option because there is a point in the fight where Eligor casts Reflect on the entire party. During this time, anytime you cast a healing spell on your character or a party member, it will be redirected and healing him instead. So Prayer is not a spell, it bypasses his Reflect. ATB stagger so when we stagger him we get full ATB bars back or enough to continue damaging him. And one MP up should be able to do the trick since we are at the end of the chapter, not much MP is really needed for Aerith at this point. And finally, she has the Leviathan summon materia to deal the max amount of damage from magic spells. As soon as the fight starts you need to dodge away with everyone because he will slam down on us all. Once everyone is out of the way, cast Blizzaga with both Aerith and Cloud at the same time and switch to Tifa. Start attacking once he starts to do the gaze attack, and once the Blazagas go off, his stagger bar should be about 3 quarters full. One focus strike from Tifa should stagger him with a few punches as well, and once he is staggered, double up on true strikes from Tifa, and he should switch into his second phase of going into the air. Keep trying to attack him here and get on as much damage as you can. After this cutscene, he will cast Reflect on the entire party, so be careful if you're trying to heal your teammates here. Be sure to use Prey with Aerith if possible. Once he goes in the air, we need to switch to Aerith as quickly as possible to get his attention. Move around first so you don't get hit by the Fallen Javelin though. Once he charges up the Gaze attack at Aerith, switch to Tifa and then go up in the air hitting him. Once Tifa does a full combo in the air, it will make him come down completely skipping the reigning Javelin phase. 
keep hitting him with Tifa to build ATB, and then go into Chi level 3 as soon as possible. Now Eligor will return to the ground and run around in circles a few times. Right here, you want to try to stay controlling Tifa and position yourself behind the shipping container. Once he starts launching the Gaze attack, use the command menu to cast Blazaga with both Aerith and Cloud. Once those land and hit, he should be pressured, and now you can Focus Strike with Tifa to stagger him and then True Strike two times again or just deal enough damage. Save your Chi levels here, do not use your triangle attacks. These are going to be very important in the next phase. Blazaga as a spell probably deals the most stagger bar increases in the game, and especially since he is weak to it, it is ridiculous how much this affects him. By now, he should be going into his third and final phase. Just keep attacking him as much as you can to tack on as much damage as possible while building up ATB during that time. Before he goes into the final phase, Eligor is actually going to circle around the map a few times, just give it some time, and then the cutscene will start. Distracting him with Tifa and then casting Blazaga with both Aerith and Cloud really goes a long way in this fight. It actually destroys this man and pushes us further into the next phases with skipping certain mechanics, which is pretty cool. And once this cutscene plays out, we need to make sure everybody dodges to the right, as close to the wall as possible. As soon as he finishes his attack, cast Blazaga with both Cloud and Aerith and cast Stop as Cloud. So make sure you have enough ATV with Cloud here. Once he's finally stopped, go up with Tifa and break the wheels on both sides. Her triangle attacks right here can actually easily break those. If you don't have them, it's fine. Just do your uppercuts into dive kicks, and once these are broken, he will be staggered. And he'll only have a pixel of health left, so just wreck his day and boom, there you go. Tifa just absolutely owned this boss. It's crazy how much damage she does to him. This fight is a really fun one once you learn his patterns and understand exactly how you can skip certain attacks he can unleash. Throw up the Tifa emojis in the chat right now, because we absolutely wrecked him with her. She destroyed Eligor's day. Or night. And if you go back and look at the health, it was almost a no damage boss run. After he came down from the air in the second phase, for some reason Aerith stood right in front of his path and she blocked slight damage that he did when he landed on her. If that didn't happen, that would have been golden for a no damage run, but what can you do? I mean, these AI teammates are just the best to work with, am I right? I really do hope co-op battles become a thing so we could all play together on a live stream. Can you guys just imagine how fun that would be? I mean, come on. And that wraps it up for this video guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this fight. Put up your bricks in the chat one time for Tifa. She absolutely crushes this fight and it's so much fun, especially when she knocks Eligor on his ass every time that he staggered. I always love seeing strategies like this that use the entire team. Even though Cloud kind of took a backup support role, all characters put in absolute work making this boss fight absolutely fun. If you have any other idea how to make this boss fight better, please be sure to comment below and let us know. I love when we get discussions going and just communicating with you guys is an absolute joy. Also, shout out to the members of the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm thankful for each and every single one of you guys that joined recently as well. Join today so your name can be in one of our videos. Not only that, but you will get access to our channel exclusive emojis and perks that we are constantly updating. Memberships are just another way to support the channel if you really enjoy the content we create over here. Regardless of them, I still enjoy making these videos for you guys and showing off cool strats for this amazing game. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. More Final Fantasy VII Remake videos are coming your way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.